cost you a dime if I had no sign. Y'all, this is the face I make when this stupid phone literally I just had the perfect intro it was so funny and everything and the for whatever reason the thing it filmed it upside down like what the hell oh I cannot wait to get my freaking um lens fixed this is like y'all if I did not like vlogging and then talking to y'all in my comments I would just not even I would go months without doing it just till I get my lens because this is so annoying y'all like this happens to me all the time anyway what's up guys happy saturday they're tuning in to yet another episode of my basic ass life goodness so tragic anyway um say hi mom again hello so y'all missed my mom's pity party that she was throwing for herself and everything like it was funny she was throwing a pity party. It was so funny. And then it turned out the damn thing is upside down. I'm like, why is it upside down? Why is it upside down? Like, literally, the way I hold the camera is the same way every time. And I make sure that it's the same way every time. And just sometimes when I turn it on to record, I don't realize that it recorded upside down until I rewatch it back. Like, it's... Uh, y'all... I guess this week just not going to be my week at all. Like, not even the Saturday, y'all. It's just not been my week. Like, seriously. But um, anyway, welcome to it, y'all. We're going to run some air. We're going to do some stuff. We got to go to the hair store and I don't know what else. So I guess I'm just bringing you guys with me for whatever we do today. So yeah, welcome to my life today, y'all. Welcome to it. So y'all, my mama has nine days until her birthday. Hey, turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up. Go mama, go mama, go mama. Nine days. My mama's birthday is October the 10th. So I'm gonna try to do her like I'm gonna try to do like a birthday vlog, um, so that you guys can say happy birthday to her on her birthday in the comments. So her birthday's coming up. She's turning 21. So mom, how does it feel to be 21 and legal age to drink? I don't think I would ever want to be 21 again. <laughs> really? <laughs> 48 is wonderful. Yeah. So she's turning 48. So she's 40. This is this how how our birthdays goes. She's turning. I'm 28, so then she's about to be 48. So then I'm going to turn 29, and then in October she turns 49. So that's how our birthdays go. That's how I always know how old she is. Because I just think about myself, okay, well, I'm, I'm 28, so that means she's turning 28. I mean, 48. Yep. So, Mama, you was a young buck when you had me, girl. Very. I was the test child. I always say the first kid is always like the test child. I feel like you uh I feel like you mess up more with the first kid. Yeah, you make plenty of mistakes. <laughs> and then like then you're a pro by the time you hit baby number two and three or whatever. But yeah, I was the test baby. I was the only child for almost five years. Almost five years I was the only child and oh it was sweet. It was sweet. I was not happy about Michael. I was not. I distinctly remember I I was not happy about getting a sibling. I was like, what we need that for? Can you take that back when you got it? It was horrendous. But now he's my favorite sibling because Chelsea make you want to beat the hell out of her on a regular basis. What you got to say about that third one that you produced? She just moody. Y'all, sometimes I wonder like, are we really genetically related? Because me and Chelsea are polar opposites. Like, <sighs> I love my sister, y'all, but Chelsea will make you lose your entire religion, I'm telling you. <clears throat> when she want to be sweet, she's sweet. But I would say a good 90% of the time, attitude on fleek. Am I lying, mama? About Chelsea, no, attitude on fleek. No, <laughs> I'm not even joking. Like, Chelsea is, woo! But when she's sweet, she's sweet. I love my sister, but bruh, that attitude, girl, make you want to literally snatch her soul right out of her body sometimes you gotta say a good silent prayer to jesus but yeah just want to let you guys know that mama's birthday is coming up mama what do you want to do for your birthday i don't know i think we should go to the zoo i think it, <laughs> i think it might be kind of um foolish no but it's not cold yet to go to the zoo y'all i want to go to the columbus Zoo so bad it looks like it's so fun we have yet to go but I do want to go. 
we stopping at the bank, y'all. So she about to get out. They don't have it like uh, where you can ride up. Yeah. And just uh. You got the damn. Yeah, you, you got to get out of your car. Of the they probably have a drive up one in the back going around, but. How? I didn't see no sign that say that. All I see is this ATM here. Well, that's inconvenient if they don't have one where you can drive through it. But um, but yeah, y'all. So I guess I'll see. Him. Go here to go over there. Probably broke his neck to get out the car. Why? Why you? You? That man did not know you was getting parking to go over there. He thought you was going inside the bank. They do look kind of dope. What's up, y'all? So, y'all, where we at? At the hospital, as you can probably see. Look who's in the hospital bed here. So, today is, what's today? Sunday. Okay, mama had an asthma attack, and we had to bring her to the emergency room. I'm better now. <laughs> She could, she could, she could breathe now, though, y'all. I wasn't going I didn't want to show her when she was like looking real, like death door worthy. Okay, but yeah, y'all, it's Sunday, and we didn't do nothing today, really. How many days my birthday now? Uh, do a is it eight? Eight more days to her birthday, y'all. I think eight days, eight days to her birthday, and um, so yeah, after this, we're gonna go to Krispy Kreme and get some donuts. It's like 9.30 at night. <laughs> but yeah, so she had to come to the hospital for that. So, that's what we're doing on this good Sunday night. I was going to tell y'all something else. <gasps> y'all. So, <laughs> okay, so we at, what is this one? Is it Mount Carmel? Yeah, it's like Mount Carmel or something, the hospital we're at. Okay, so, girl. Let me tell y'all, we can we can sign in, right? So you come to this window and we get signed in. They got this girl. They got this, you know, she she's pleasantly plump. A couple pleasantly plump sizes. She a little bit bigger than me, but that's okay. Okay, that's not what we're talking about. Okay, so she doing our little information. And she gets up out of her chair to to come around. Stop laughing. <laughs> to come around to, like, take my mama's weight and blood pressure and stuff, right? So when she stands up. And turns around where I can see the back side of her. All I see is her entire, the entire grail of her ace. The whole two cheeks crack and all. Right? So you know how you, like, you know how you got to think, like, is it rude to say something or not? Like, should I say something or should I just, like, she going, you know, she going to feel. Normal people, if you know your pants are too big or whatever, when you stand up, you're going to automatically reach to pull up your pants. <laughs> Y'all, she did not reach to pull up her pants. I'm like, you don't feel this cold air on your ass, lady? You don't feel your bare ass. Blowing in the wind. So, yo, mom is over here dying. But anyway, she walks around. She takes the vital signs. She walks back. She's going about her duties, y'all. With her whole ass out. I'm like, girl, your ass numb. And why you ain't got on no drawers? I'm just thinking about that. Yo, I just thought, mama. 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 I wouldn't be able to see her ass if she had on drawers. I would be... Y'all, I'm just thinking about that, y'all. She didn't have no drawers on with them scrubs. Girl, I am done. So, y'all, what I want to know is why you don't have on drawers with these scrubs. Now, what if something happened to her mama? What if she, what if something happened to her, y'all? She getting a car wreck on the way home. Or something happened and a pair of mess got to cut her pants and clothes off her. She gonna be loosey goosey ass and cha cha waving in the wind, y'all. So I'm like, I'm telling my mom, like, you know, I wonder if her friend girl, cause they had like two girls and I'm like, wonder if her friend girl gonna tell her, like, girl, please decide and tell you, girl, your ass is hanging out, girl. We can see everything. We can see your future and your past. Okay, everything. And oh, girl, that was it. That's what her, I know she saw it, cause I saw it, and she looked when I looked, and she ain't said. Nothing that shows you when people don't like you where you work. 
They are not friends, girl. They that is not your good Judy at all. So yeah, yo, that's what's that's what's going on in our lives right now. So my mom's feeling better. She got her little treatment. They gave her her little. What they gave you? Prednisone. Mm -hmm. They gave us some prednisone. So now we're waiting for the papers and stuff so we can leave. But yeah, yeah, I just had to tell y'all that little story <laughs> because I was just like, so just just for future, just for, just just to see how many of y'all would tell would say something if you saw her ass hanging out like that. Would you say something or would you be like? You know, I'm not going to say nothing because if she say some smart bags to me, I'm going to have to loud cap her in front of these people in this waiting room. So, let me know in the comments, y'all. But, that's what we're doing. So, see you guys tomorrow. It's going to be a three-day three vlog, obviously. But, um, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. And, I got to go do laundry and such. So, see you guys tomorrow. What's up, y'all? Happy Monday. <laughs> So we are at Bob Evans trying to get some brunch. They are so so. Like we have been here. How long have we been here? Like 15, 20 minutes? We've been here for like 20 minutes and we have yet to get our food yet. So Yeah, I don't know. Some days this place just be like, what? I'm gonna stop going to this one. This one is the one off of Dublin Granville. Um, next to what is it, Giant Eagle? Is this one? Uh, I'm gonna go to the other one next time because this one be they be having staff issues or something. I don't know. Let's say hi, mom. Hi. Gotta tell them happy Monday. Happy Monday. <laughs> Count down to the birthday. Yay. How many days I got? Really, mama? I'm a natural person. Top. Countdown time clock. So. Once we come out of here, where we going? Oh, drop her prescription off. We gotta bring Chelsea to work and um, such. So yeah, just wanna pop in and say what's up. Tell you guys happy Monday. And um, yeah, see you guys in the next clip. So as you can see from the books behind me, we are at the bookstore. Mom, it seems like we live at these places. I know. So, we are at the bookstore. Um, We just dropped off a mom's prescription for her inhaler and such. And, um, yeah. Basicness. So, y'all, I have a job interview tomorrow. I'm so excited. I'm going to be working part-time. I'm very excited. I haven't had a job in forever. But I'm about to have a job and I'm excited to get out of the house and get some human interaction other than my family. It's going to be awesome. So yeah, we're just in here looking. I doubt if we're buying anything. Mommy, you buying something? If I see something that interests me, I might go ahead and do it. Yeah, so we shall see. But um, Chelsea went next door to Dollar Tree. So, to get a drink. So we got, we're trying to kill like 30 minutes because she has to be to work at 3 and it's 2 o'clock. So we're trying to kill 30 minutes. So that's what we're doing. Y'all, so I'm super excited. Super excited. So remember I was telling y'all about the Vampire Huntress books from L.A. Banks? So this is the final one. But y'all, hold on, let me get to it so I can show y'all. Hold on. It's an autographed copy. It's an autographed copy, y'all. <gasps> Look at her signature, L.A. Bank signature, right there in the book. <gasps> I'm definitely getting it. Oh, my God. I cannot believe it. She's, like, one of my favorite authors, and she passed away um, a couple years ago. But it's an autographed copy. I'm so excited. Can you believe it? Mom was not as excited as me. <laughs> but I can't believe it and like the person never read the book because it has never been creased I think they just got it because the she, my mama said they probably got the book because they were she was there and they wanted an autograph but awesome so awesome so excited okay y'all so I'm gonna show y'all what my mama got the two books 
she got this one and she got this one so that's what we're getting in my book and we're about to get out of here she's looking at something else you getting that one too i'm just reading it's about an updated version of sleeping beauty cinderella oh and whatnot so yep y'all this george or george r talking token what is it uh what's the name of this show game of, game of thrones. thrones i read the first book but this I, I just can't get with this author like i just can't I couldn't get with it maybe if i do audiobook maybe but i just couldn't get with it as it is in the book what when i'm reading it myself but yeah so we're getting out of here and about to go bring chest to work all right guys so i'm home it's a couple hours later i'm home probably not going anywhere else so i'm going to end this vlog right here thank you guys for watching thanks for tuning in to my channel um hi to all my new subscribers i appreciate every single view every single sub yeah so i guess i will see you guys in the next video um yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed it give it a thumbs up you know and i'll see you guys in the next one bye